Hello friends, thank you for joining me today. It's Marilyn here. I'm going to share you this album that I made with the May Limited Edition key by my Creative Scrapbook. I covered uh, the spine with lace in both sides. Look all these pieces that comes in the kit. These are so beautiful. And I made this album using the Simple Vintage Indigo Garden Collection by Simple Story that is featuring in the May Limited Edition kit. It is the back. I use the same ginga, yellow gingham pattern paper and I made these false stitches with a pen. And let me show you the interior. Okay, I use this time um, Velcro to close my album. And I love that the, uh, the Velcro blends with the same pattern paper. Once it's open, this is what you get. And in the left side here, I made this pocket that I decorate with the different pattern papers and put some of the cards that comes in the kit. I make this piece here that with white cardstock. Let me show you, it is easy. I just uh, make a folding piece, like an accordion folding piece to put a uh, few photos in this uh, here and I put it in the pocket. Then in the right side here of the album, you will get uh, this small pocket here with this tag that I can place or you can place a photo and on the back of the tag the journaling and I insert this in it and look the pattern paper love that it has this part the date so I put it in this corner to place the date of the memories in this album then this is the other spine you, this part here I cover inside the interior with this pattern paper I love all the lines because you, we can uh, use this area to make the journaling and this is the focal point here I, this is the area that I put all the 3D uh, elements and the white area is for the photo, the best ever is the title. And once you open, <clears throat> this is the first. The second um, page is this one that you see here. It is flip flops that you will see. Here you can place a photo behind here. And in this side, one or two horizontal photos. Once you open, you will see this all pink. I try to combine all the pattern papers in the same color. In this area, you can place a photo and attach behind the flowers. In this area here, you can place the photo in the tags or in this pocket that I made here. Let me remove the tags I want to show you. Look how beautiful is the pattern paper and the details from the beads and pieces that I attach here. Okay, here is the, I'm going to flip this and you will find on the back this frame that you can place a bigger photo than this one. And here I made another pocket with two more tags and look the papers. I try to combine all the pattern papers. I also add this paper lace that I uh, cut from a die from my stuff. <clears throat> this die is from Tom, Tim Holt. And I love that it brings these lovely details. I am closing all the flips now and you can see it is closed. In the side of this first section, you will find this insert here. It looks like a folder and you can place here for more photo for bigger photos. And I make this tab and I uh, cover the tabs with the same pattern paper that I use in this section of the mini album. Then on the back of this area, you will find I made two pockets. Let me remove this so you can see. And I try to combine the different pattern papers. I add this butterfly and also add the paper lace in the borders. I put the three here and in this area here is the bigger pocket and I place here the bigger mats and one of the cards that comes in the kit. I am trying to place all these together. Then this area here is like another, uh, it's like a folder with tabs that it says so lovely. And once you open this area, you will find in the left side, like a booklet in the center, a mini album that I incorporate using eyelets. And you can see you can place, let me see how many, let me count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten pages that you can put photo here. I close this with a cord and you bring the happy. I love these papers and collections. And on the back of this side, you can place a bigger photo like this one. And in the cascade here, you have to put multiple photos, smaller photos, how you see here. It is so lovely. I close it with the cord. Here in this section, I continue with the false stitches. And this is a pattern paper. I just cut around the butterfly and the flower to make this pocket and put the two big uh, cards here for more photos. And once it's this, it close and in the border, I use the other, other pattern paper with the false stitches. On the back of this area here, I made a balloon envelope and put inside this envelope. Look, this is the love moss is from the bits and pieces. These are the three cards that I put here that you can add photos on the back or in both sides if you like. But I love, uh, I love the the design of this card. Okay, let me show you this part here. I close this area with a paper. Uh, with this paper clip that I made, uh, I just attached a butterfly and a rainbow ribbon. And here is a uh, accordion, another accordion that you can place more photos. And on the back, I decorate the back too. And I close it with the same paper clip. Then here, I made another small uh, envelope with balloon and I close it with a cord. Okay, this is the blue area <laughs> of the album and I decorate this area with the blue and yellow from the collection. I use a border uh, dye from Dress My Craft. That is the, the all the lace that you see around the paper here. And you can attach a photo here behind the, the paper lace. Okay, and once you open this, it, this is what you get and these are uh, you can place photo here and here and once you flip this area and the other one you have um, plenty space for four photos for more photos and once it's closed here I put another uh, tag and you can add more photos and look how beautiful are the papers on the background here you can add more photos and let me put this and this uh, pocket. I use all the small pieces that I the, of the leftover of the pattern paper to create this. So you could see that you can see that I combine the different pattern papers. It is closed, and in the side of this piece is another insert, as you see, another folder for for more uh, space for photo, like four, and I cover the tab with a blue and yellow pattern paper. And once it's inside on the back, you will see uh, the last part. Let me show you uh, first the center here. You can place a bigger photo, a big photo in this way on or this. And then this is a cascade. I use one, I put a eyelet here, um, brats and this is the cascade i use all the small pieces all the leftover as you see to try i use uh this uh kit 100 percent i can say and once you see let me see from the back to the front this is uh the album let me know if you like this album with a thumbs up share this video and let me a comment down below what is the part that you like the most and let me tell you the measurements of this that is six by six with a spine of two inches and I'm going to let you hear two more videos that maybe you are interested and I come back soon with a new video tutorial all the information are in the description box nos vemos bye bye